Welcome to an introduction to Microsoft Planner, the newest application that's part of the Office 365 suite. Let's get started. First, let's log in to Office 365. As you can see, you just type in your email address, your password, and you're logged into Office 365. Now you'll notice that all the applications are down here, and what we're going to do is select Planner. One of the questions you might have is, am I eligible for Planner? Anyone with E1, E3, E4, or E5 obviously get it, but also Education, Business Essentials, and Business Essentials Premium are eligible for the plan. Call your message ops representative if you need more information. Let's take a look at Planner. Planner, which offers people a simple and highly visual way to organize teamwork. Planner makes it easy for your team to create new plans, organize and assign tasks, share files, chat about what they're working on, and get updates on progress. As you can see, we have two different plans here. We're going to talk about Team Strive to Excellence. Let's take a look inside. Here you can see that this is where you can start assigning tasks and developing your different teams of users and what tasks they get assigned. So as you can see, you can have a whole array of users and tasks assigned to people and show all the different things that you need to do or the people on your team need to do very simply in a nice organized fashion. And they can know the dates that they're completed and what their tasks should be going forward. So as you can see, here's a couple of completed tasks. And as you can see, these are all the tasks that, that people have. You can look at this a bunch of different ways. We have a chart here that allows you to take a look at individuals in a graph style, showing you what's been started, what's in progress, what's late, uh, what hasn't been started yet, and so on, and do it by individuals. And you can go in here and keep track of people, reassign tasks, change dates. You can also have a OneNote notebook that can keep notes about the project, can keep any documentation that you need. All the things that you get inside OneNote can be part of this experience. As you could see in this, you can look at all the members that are part of your team individually. You can go in here and go to your different plans by just clicking on your favorite plans, going to my task. If you just want to see the things that have been assigned specifically to you, very easy. Uh, you can go in here and see what you've completed as part of all the different uh, missions that you have or plans that you have. Uh, you can go in here and uh, change dates. You can have a start date and an end date. You can go in and, and adjust those if you need an extra time for them. Uh, you can go in here and actually put in uh, more of a description. Very simple tool to use, but very efficient in letting people know on your team where you stand in your tasks and how you're getting these things done. As you could see in here, I have some favorite plans, but I have all the plans that we have inside our organization. But in my planner hub, the things that are a part of my favorites are up here at the top that gives me a graphical display of where we stand on each one of my favorite plans. Nice little in progress uh, bar shows me where we stand on each one of these. Now let's take a look at how to create a plan. You can go in here, obviously click on new plan, just give it a name. It could be, you know, anything or, or uh, any type of a plan that you want to do. Uh, you can have an email address in here that everyone uh, can now email to. So it's, it makes it simple and easy for you to uh, be able to communicate about the plan. So webinar for Microsoft Planner. Let's, let's do a little one about this. You can go in here and make this a uh, uh, public or private. And as you can see, I'm going to make this private. And we're going to be recording a webinar for Planner. So let me just type in here.
and click Create Plan. Now you could see that what it's doing is it's now generating all the information in the background, creating that OneNote notebook, and now takes me right to where I can start uh, adding members, creating new buckets. So let's let's stick a new member in here. And this, uh, this will pull right out of Active Directory. So you can see Walt. I, I just typed in Walt. It popped up out of Active Directory. Now we got a couple people in here that are part of our plan. So now I can go in here and make a to-do. And I'm going to create a video here. can set a due date. So let's just say by tomorrow, I can assign that to myself and add the task. It's that simple. It's that easy to do. Uh, or I could assign other things to other people. It's it. I can add a bucket and buckets just keep track of either uh, individuals or tasks that I want to put on you know, each one of these plans. So I can go in here and say that, you know, once I created it, I got to edit it. So I can, I can assign that to somebody else. I can go in and put another one out here that allows me to publish this. And I might assign that to a different person. So as you can see, whatever type of, of uh, plan you want to put together, it's simple, it's easy to do. And to add to these plans is just a really a click away. Here we're going to do an, uh, a place where you can actually add or create, you know, and, and change dates, uh, make it in progress, which is what I'm doing on this plan right now. I can actually give it uh, a, a little bit of, of information in here about what I'm actually doing, how long it might be, or what uh, what information I'm going to include in this. As you can see, I can attach a file or a link to a uh, place inside SharePoint or on the web or whatever I, I need to do. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, for this plan, it's still setting up our file storage. It just takes a couple of minutes for them to do that. Uh, but once, once this has been here for five minutes or so, you'll be able to add all those things. Even if I go into the charts here, you can see that that one task has now been assigned. It's been assigned to me. It's, it's a nice little graphical representation. If I go back in here, and let's say I start adding some more tasks under the different buckets. So I can go in here and edit the raw video. I can go in and make sure that I give this a uh, due date. So let's go in here and do that. And let's say tomorrow. Uh, and then let's assign it over here to Walt and add task. And now Walt has a task. And now I'm probably going to want to publish this out to YouTube. So let's go in here and uh, set up a, a publishing. So let's upload video. Well, let's we'll finish video. Let's wait a second. Okay, upload finish video of Planner to, no, YouTube, sorry. All right, again, let's, uh, let's give this a due date. Let's say on Monday, uh, let's assign that to me and add the task. And now you'll see that if we go back into that charts menu, you'll see that we now have three different tasks in our charts menu. And also that one has in progress and the other two haven't started yet because we haven't finished the video. So the nice thing is it lists them all right here for you. What's going on? It gives you a nice little graphical representation of what's going on in your plan and who's been assigned those things. Nice little graphical uh, representation. Let's go back here to board. Now I can open up a link and add a link to uh my planner video so i can go in here and 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 type in whatever link i need for instance if this was going to be in youtube i could just call it youtube link and where it's going to end up um let, uh, let me just stick 
this in here real quick. I'm just showing you a, a demonstration here. I don't have the exact link yet, but you can see that you can add a link very simply uh, uh, to this task. You can go in and remove or set as private or, or edit it uh, later on. It's Once we get the uh, final link, you can put it in there. Very simple to do. Uh, if there's a checklist, so if you have certain things that you want to accomplish during uh, during this task, you can start adding checklist items. Uh, it's, it's really a cool tool that allows you to do a lot of different things. So in here, for instance, you know, create video uh, would be number one. So I go in there and then I can add another item and say, add audio and add another item to it and review video all right and we'll just add one more here uh, and we'll hand off for editing all right and then once we let me just uh, once we do this uh, you can go in here and start checking things off so for instance created the video I did that I can set this as a preview and you'll see that uh, what that will do on your Tasks out front is give you the ability to see what's not been done uh, on that task and be able to check things off from there. Now, if we go right back here to the hub, as you can see, these are my favorites. They're showing up. To add a favorite, very easy. Just right click on that thing and you can add any of the plans that are already out there. Now, these are just a few of the features that are available in Planner. There's a lot more involved in it. And we'll be giving you more information uh, as, as uh, we do these videos. For more information about Planner and really about Office 365 in general, contact MessageOps either on our website, www.messageops.com, or call us at 1-877-788-1617. Have a great day.